Yeah, good answer as well. You answered it for me, Ken. I think uh, just on the balance of, uh, of, of the Lucy's, or, or let's rather say, why is Yaku not in the starting exactly for that reason? Uh, I said all the players in their starting 15, they battle hardened guys. They've played and they've trained for two weeks. And the only thing is Yaku's injury came at a, um, what do you call it, uh, a time, uh, unfortunate time. Yes, and uh, he's, he's at 20 minutes of rugby against the Kings. And uh, I think uh, it'd, it'd be better for Yaku to put some more hard work in. He also, maybe a week or so ahead of his injury, his rehab, but he's really recovered well. But I think it's just the 20 minutes that he's had under his belt. Um, then, if you look at those three loose forwards, in, in terms of uh, what we want to have, we want to have a good line-out option. We want to have really, we know Warren is a great line at option, but we need the fourth one in Opa Mahoje too, and he's been very good at that. Opa, if you look what he also brings defensively, uh, he's very good. So you, you've got Siakulisi, a big ball carrier that also plays a similar role on, on the ground, playing towards the ball on attack. He understands that role, and he also understands the role in uh, turning ball over. You know, If you look at the, and someone summed it up in the media this morning, the role of the uh, three or four Lucy's. You know, it's much of a muchness. I think that's a good balance. You've got extra, uh, what's the name, with OPA option in line-out, and you've got Sia Kulisi then can do the other ball-carrying role in the wide channel in the way you want to play, with Warren Whiteley carrying there as well.